Hello and welcome. It's Mark from Cutter Electronics. A little preview today on the SSK 550, part of our Soul Skin series of products. The 550 kit utilizes the Samsung LM301B, along with the Nichia 757 V3, probably the brightest mid powers currently going around. Uh, so bang for buck, um, a great way to uh, to provide lots of light with great efficacy. All right, the 550 kit is four boards on extruded heat sinks. Uh, it's a series wide board, so simple in and out in terms of wiring. And these are mounted to a 20 mm T-slot rail system, which is included in the package. Uh, makes for quite simple assembly and uh, potential to scale the product if you wanted to add more boards uh, you can do so by adding more rail and slip and slide those boards in let's look at this in a bit more detail um, we have it currently in uh, four versions two colors 4k 3k and the same color versions but with the 2100 milliamp driver from meanwhile uh, in the A version, meaning that you can pop the lid, pop the, the black button on top, access the little pot and overclock the current drive to get you the full 550 watts if you are so inclined to do so. Okay, so the 550 uses four boards, 288 LEDs per board for a total of 1152 diodes. The kit comes with four boards, four heat sinks, the driver in the B or A version, uh, a proper 0 to 10 dimmer, uh, not any of those funky pots which sometimes need additional resistors, the necessary Wago connectors, power cables uh, for mains, and includes uh, a set of hangers. And also comes with the six pieces of the 20mm T-slot for building your rail system. Um, this is primarily um, what I would call a 4x4 kit um, for flour. It can be used in a 5x5 veg tent. Um, running at about 170 uh, lumens per watt, um, but the efficacy in terms of PPF is, is over 2.5 which is healthy um, and uh, you'll get to somewhere a little over a thousand uh, PPFD at uh, 18 inches uh, you do get slightly even more even spread at 24 inches but uh, you'll pay the penalty of some PPFD loss um, over the canopy all right, why don't we assemble one and you can see what the drama you're in for. Let's go to the video. Hi guys, so the 550 uh, kit comes with these um, basic light engines, so it's the LM301B board with 288 of the high flux, um, high flux bins and I need some Java. Mm. Damn, that is good coffee. So this is mounted to the uh, extruded heatsink, um, which has two flat edges. Um, in this case, these have got some little eye bolts for hanging a single kit. Um, and the extruded heatsink has um, various holes, some for drawing wire, but primarily for mounting to some kind of a frame system. So we're going to use um, these M4 6mm T-slot uh, nuts and screws to uh, insert this into the T-slot and uh, that'll be the rail system to, uh, to hang the, the entire uh, 550 kit. 
So why don't we check out the video on how we do that. So place the screws with the T-slot nuts through four holes. Slide that in to the T-slot rail. Once you've uh, got yourself the position that you'd like the heat sinks to sit, uh, nip those M4 bolts up to secure the heat sinks in place. So here we have the kit uh, with the four heat sinks and rail uh, completely uh, mounted. Next you'll want to put corner units into the T-slot using again T-slot screw and nuts. Mount these uh, with the bolts flush to the edge of the heatsink and one of them supplied, well, four will be supplied with holes which allow you to uh, put the eye bolts into, uh, into the corner bracket to use for hanging the entire system. Okay, once you've got your corner brackets mounted, you'll have the exposed T-slot nuts coming out of the end of, uh, of the corner brackets. It's then just a case of taking the T-slot end rail and sliding that through uh, onto the, uh, the, the T-slot nuts until you have the entire end rail lined up. This obviously sets the, uh, uh, the distance uh, between the, the two dual sets of, um, of light engines. Once you have this in place, it's just a case of nipping up the screws onto the end rail to secure everything in place. Okay, so step and repeat to mount the other uh, end rail to complete the framing assembly. And here we have it completed with four extruded heat sinks and the framing system. Let's mount the driver, line up the slots on the driver base with the T-slot using M4 and the T-slot nuts. Uh, lock down the driver into its final position. Boom, good to go. You can flip the, the entire frame over at this point, time to mount boards. Probably give the uh, heat sinks a wipe down with some alcohol at this point. The boards do come with double sided thermal adhesive, so remove the outer cover uh, off the adhesive material, tweezers as recommended, and place the board down. Bear in mind that you will want to consider which way you place each board relative to the wiring of the series system that we use, so your positive and negatives will want to line up. Um, the board can be screwed down, it has holes uh, pre-drilled and tapped, but the thermal adhesive is, uh, is brilliant. Okay, why don't we uh, take this system now and wire it up. So it is series uh, a series based system, so a positive in, a negative out, uh, back to the, to the driver and then join the boards in a negative to positive, negative to positive um, join to complete the circuit. Um, as you can see this is a very simple uh, product to assemble and we're probably talking uh, 15 to 20 minutes to put this entire thing together. Let's power it with the dimmer on um, at its lowest setting and uh, as you can see uh, quite a simple and easy kit to put together. Let's hang it and uh, see what it looks like. Mmm, tasty, munchy. So. Uh, we'll, we'll power it up to uh, to full power and uh, enormous amount of light coming out of the uh, these four boards. The mid power diodes are 
are uh, are fantastic and really do give you an enormous amount of um, photons for uh, for growing. Thanks for watching.